Now, let's get to the basics of how you know, to begin uh, to, uh, to get started with ACE project. The first step is always to create users. Now, that would be uh, an admin right. So you have to uh, you know, select the, uh, you know, click on the admin link here in the top right-hand corner to reach the uh, admin area. From the user list page, you can add a new user. The username, password are, are mandatory fields, as these uh, asterisks, uh, asterisks indicate. Uh, so you'll want to you know, uh, specify a username, the password, the email address that is to be used, uh, and essentially you know, the address that you'll specify here is where all email notifications will be sent to. Uh, you have an access rights area where you can set up the where you'll determine whether you want to set up the user as an admin or a normal user. In terms of access rights in ACE project, uh, it's a two-tier system. The first tier is the user level, where you must specify whether the user is an admin or a normal user. If you set up a user as an administrator, he or she will have access to the entire information in the account. If you set up a normal uh, a user as a normal user, he or she will only be able to access assigned projects. A and then the second tier uh, will come into effect. Uh, on each of those assigned projects, you can then specify you know, uh, some project level rights for the user. You also have three optional user level options for the user. Uh, you will determine here whether the user can create projects, uh, whether you want the user to have the portfolio tab uh, for a cross-project reporting, uh, whether or not the user will be able to see financial data. In the email notifications area, by default, when you, you create a, a new user, all four of these email notifications should be turned on. Uh, you know, the user might or might not have uh, the permission that will be whether you want to, to allow the user to, uh, to opt in or out uh, of email notifications through this option right here. But you know, you'll decide as an admin whether uh, you want to force email notifications to be sent to the user uh, or if you would rather have the user uh, choose for himself or herself. Uh, if these email notifications are necessary. So that's essentially, essentially the first step in getting started with ACE project. You need to set up your users. The next step would be to create projects. There are two areas uh, in the interface where you may do so. One of them would be the portfolio, the default page that appears when you select the portfolio uh, tab. So you have the add a project button right there. The other would be under My Office uh, Projects, Assigned Projects. So let's uh, click on Add a Project right now. Now, when you create a project, there are the first choice you'll need to, you know, the first thing you'll need to choose is whether you want to create a, a project from scratch or whether you want to use an existing project as your template. So. If you do select uh, you know, to create a project from a template, uh, you will then have several options as to what you want to copy over from your template to your new project, as well as uh, you know, some other functionalities, of, such as you know, do you want to adjust your task dates based on your new project's estimated start date. You will, you will need to specify the project number. As I mentioned uh, earlier, this is an alphanumeric field the project name. Description is not mandatory, but of course you might want to do that. Um, and you have quite a you know, few other options uh, here which are perhaps not uh, essential at this time. Once you're done filling out uh, this page, instead of, uh, you now the next step in the process would be to assign users to your new project. So let's do that right now. Instead of clicking on Save, I'll click on uh, this uh, downwards pointing arrow button just next to the Save button and select Save and Assign Users. 
As the project creator, Jane is automatically assigned to the new project. Now, if you want to assign other users to the project, you'll click on the Assign a New User link, and you will then see all remaining users in the account uh, listed by user group. So support agent, technician, research and development are user groups, and that is how the users are grouped. You can then select one or several users in the list and assign them project level rights. The project level rights are the ones that you see right here. Project managers will have the ability to do whatever they please against their project except deleting it. Deleting a project uh, can only be performed by an administrator. You may or may not want to grant the user or users, selected users in this case, time approval or expense approval rights on the project. They can open this project right. If you grant that right, the user will be able to see, uh, you know, to essentially open the project and see a project tab. Now remember that whenever you can open a project and, and see a project tab, that also gives you automatically access to all left menu items associated with the project tab, meaning that the user or selected users will have access to incomplete tasks, to uh, completed tasks, therefore we'll be able to see uh, the entire list of tasks in the, in the project. Whereas if you do not grant this right, the selected users will only have access to their assigned tasks and created tasks under My Office, My Tasks, for instance. Finally, there's the edit task level. Uh, that you now where you have uh, options from A1 to D2. Uh, this icon right here will lead you to a chart which shows specifically for each of these uh, edit task levels what a user can or cannot do uh, on tasks. For instance, whether a user can, uh, can enter comments, can assign you know, tasks to someone else, and there are two factors which determine what specifically a user can or cannot do against tasks in a project. The first one is the edit task level, and the second is the relationship of the user to a task. There are three possible relationships. The user can be the creator of a task. The user can be only assigned uh, as an assigned user or reviewer on a task. Uh, and finally, the user can be neither meaning that the user is assigned to the related project but not, is not the task creator and is not uh, assigned to the task. So once you've assigned your users to the project, now we've just added the two new users and we now have three users assigned to the test project. The next step would be to create tasks in that project. So what I will do is I will open the project that I have just created, and I will click on Add a Task. The Incomplete Tasks page is the default page that will appear when you open a project, either by selecting it from this drop-down or by clicking uh, on a Project tab. As you may see, when you create a new task, the Task Number field is automatically populated by Ace Project. The, 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 uh, the Task Number field is a numeric field uh, unlike the project number field. Uh, you will also want to specify the summary, which is essentially you know, the task name. Uh, you have a details field where you may specify further information, uh, further details in regards to the task. You may even set up a hyperlink uh, in this field. And you then will probably want to assign one or several users uh, to this task. Now I will open up the assignment area. By the way, uh, you might uh, you know some clients need to use each of these uh, sections. Uh, some other clients might not uh, f you know, find any use for some of these sections. So you can actually hide sections for altogether. For instance, if I uncheck the actuals uh, section right here, you'll notice that it has disappeared from the form. So you now in ACE project forms, you'll have the ability to you know, remove sections altogether or close them out. 
uh, through the toggle links. Now, in the task assignment grid, as you may see, uh, I see three individuals who are currently available for assignment on task number one. These three individuals are the users that were previously assigned to the associated project, to the test project. Therefore, you must understand here that project assignments must be performed prior to task assignments. Whoever is assigned to the project is then uh, available for assignment on tasks in the project. I can now assign users uh, either as assignees or reviewers uh, on the task. There are two ways to allocate uh, hours of work for your users. In the first case, uh, now the first option is to use the divide hours option, which means that if you specify that you now a task will uh, will require 12 hours of work, uh, whenever you assign uh, users you now to the task. The, t the 12 hours of work will be divided evenly by the number of assigned users. The other option is to use custom hours, uh, in which case you know, the estimated hours field is no longer editable, and you must specify uh, allocated hours on a per-user basis directly in the assignment grid, and ACE project will then uh, essentially add up those numbers uh, in the estimated hours field. So let's just save this and remain on this screen. So essentially I have, I have shown you how to create projects, assign those projects, create tasks and assign tasks. Now once you know, that overhead work is, is done, then you need to collaborate efficiently uh, you know, on tasks. Uh, there are two things that you must uh, be very aware of in terms of collaboration. First of all, uh, an excellent way to communicate with other assignees is through email notifications. For instance, you can add comments in this comment field, and whenever you do, uh, as soon as you'll update your task, unless you've checked this do not notify checkbox, email notifications will be sent out to other assignees and reviewers on the task. Uh, so this is a nice, uh, very convenient way uh, to, you know, to exchange uh, comments uh, and information with other assignees and reviewers on the task. Another thing that you must keep in mind is that uh, you have some, you have a percentage done field uh, right here, just under the uh, details field. Uh, which allows you to select a percentage from 0 to 100% in 10% increments. Uh, this percentage done field is the one that is used by ACE project to display, used by the ACE project Gantt charts to display progress uh, on, the, on the task. And the project level Gantt charts that you have under the portfolio tab also use you now these percentage done values on each task in the project to give the overall percentage uh, of progress on uh, the project. Therefore, it is very important for your users if you need to have a good indication of the, you know, the, the amount of progress on your tasks and project, it is very important for your users to update the percentage done uh, on your tasks. Another thing I should mention is that uh, in the configuration section under task statuses, you can associate a predefined percentage done with a status. So you can actually add a new status in the in progress uh, type, progress type. Um, let's call it um, testing. Uh, you can associate a predefined percentage done to the testing status. Let's save that. Now, if I go back in a task, you'll notice that when I select my testing status, the percentage done value will automatically update itself. Hence, you know, this would be a very uh, you know, good idea, you know, setting up a predefined percentage done with a status 
so that your users will you know, won't forget you now updating the percentage done, which which as we have seen is very important. So that essentially is the most important information you must need you you must know in regards to using Ace Project. Of course, there are quite a few other details that I will not get into uh, at this point in time. However, uh, you have under the help uh, area in ACE Project, you have some per topic assistance that you might want to read up on. You also have you know, our contact information. And should you need to get in touch with me directly, my name is Michelle, uh, you have the email address and you know, phone number that uh, you may dial to reach me. Uh, I believe that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.